Rush to pray. No trip to the hospital is complete without coffee. In this case, two cups. I made way too much last night when I set it up. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but that's okay. I will take it all with me. I have a three point breakfast here at my computer in the hospital room. I have 45 grams of original fiber one for two points along with a sliced banana. And then I have one point worth of unsweetened vanilla almond milk here in my thermos. So throw it all in and eat some breakfast. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday. February 3rd. I am just leaving the hospital. It's been a really tough morning, but um, you saw my breakfast earlier. I did not take a picture of my lunch because I just had like this weird spot of time to heat something up and eat it really quickly. I ate more leftovers from the Italian sausage tortellini skillet. I'll put a picture in here. And um, I'm going to drive home. It's a good 40 minutes home, so I have some snacks here. Let's see what we have. I have some broken Melba toast. I have two here, so that would be um, two points. And I have grapes, and I have a mini Baby Bell Light for one point. So this is a three-point snack. My lunch, um, I, I ate... For lunch, I ate a, I portioned out a six point portion of the casserole. I also packed a mason jar salad. I mentioned it yesterday when I was saying I had made myself a salad, but I have not had an opportunity to eat this. So I'll pull this out. This is only a, it's literally a one point salad and not even that in the jar as it is. It's zero because the dressing is on the side because I only have dressing to count any points for. So I'll probably eat that a little bit later today. I'm gonna make some chili for dinner and probably some coleslaw. Talk to y'all later. I am back home and I'm gonna eat this salad. And I lied to you because instead of being a one point salad for the Bold House Ranch I had packed, it's now a two point salad because I added bacon bits since I'm home for one point, but that's okay because it makes up for the fact that I was mistaken earlier. Those two pieces of Melba toast were not two points, they were one point. So the point that I overestimated on my Melba toast that I was really less than that, I put back with the salad. Ha, oh, doesn't make any sense, but you get my drift. I'm having a latte. It's been a very long day and it's only three o'clock, but I guess because I've been up since 4.30. So this one, I don't drink this one very often. Get it out of the glare. I have an espresso and I have these little capsules and they come in different kinds of espresso and then some of them are flavored. So this one is Chocotino, which is like a chocolate. Um, I haven't had it in a long time and I can't remember why. So. I'm going to give it a shot, and I have one point worth of steamed milk here. So I'm working on dinner. I am making the Pioneer Woman, I adore her recipes, oops, sorry, um, simple, perfect chili. I have tried a lot of chilies, and I even saw some videos around for like that air quotes, best Weight Watcher chili or whatever, but... Too many beans. My husband's not a huge bean fan and definitely not a refried bean fan. So this one has always been our go-to. Um, it's absolutely delicious. So I calced it in um, a couple of days ago. It really has very little in it that would be pointy. Um, tomato sauce, ground beef, the masa harina and the kidney beans. And of course, if you decide to do any toppings. But for ground beef, I always buy 90-10. Uh, my local grocery store every couple of weeks will have it on sale for really inexpensive as long as you buy the value pack. So anywhere from two and a half to three and a half pounds in a value pack, and but it's like $3.99 a pound, which is absolutely amazing for 90% lean ground beef. So I use that when I plug this into the recipe builder. I also, I don't, I know I do, I was going to say I don't know who the Pioneer Woman is feeding. I know who she's feeding. She's got 
a husband and two boys and two kids, two girls, and you know, she's got a lot of mouth. So every time her recipes say something like yield six to eight servings, I'm like, ah, uh, it's a lot more than that. I don't know how much your people in your household are eating. But I went ahead and pointed it out at eight servings, so one eighth of whatever I'm gonna make here. It comes out to be five points per, so that's pretty good. Um, I have also made, and I'm gonna link this recipe in the description bar in case you're interested. I have also made um, a, a coleslaw earlier today. Let me show that to you. I have a recipe for, it's called Mardi Gras coleslaw. It's from Cooking Light. I'll rink that, rink that recipe. I will link that recipe below as well. Um, it's super easy. It has, whoops, um, light mayonnaise, a little bit of vinegar, cider vinegar, salt, pepper, a dash of cayenne. I don't know if that's in the recipe, but I definitely do that. And then um, it's supposed to have mustard seed, which the first time I ever made the recipe, I rejected that because too much texture going on so because the only thing that is of real point value here is the mayonnaise um, I use the same amount of light mayonnaise and the same amount of vinegar but I throw in like um, garlic powder onion powder a little cayenne salt pepper and you know I just kind of adjust the seasonings based on what we like. My husband likes kind of a sweet coleslaw, but not really. So this is usually enough for us. I suppose you could add, if you wanted it sweeter, maybe a packet of Splenda um, to the to the dressing to give it a little bit of a sweet. But it, it's totally adjustable. It calls for four cups of coleslaw and carrot shreds and maybe green onions, which I didn't even have, so I didn't even worry about it. So. Uh, it comes out to one point per serving. I think the serving is a half a cup, but I'll have to go back and double check. Again, I'm going to link the recipe in the bottom. If you decide to make this, make this several hours or even the day before you decide to serve it. Because when you first mix it together, it will look really dry and you think, oh no, that's not going to work. But as it sits and sort of, I guess the word is maybe cold sweats, it will become creamier. And so this plus the chili... Um, and I think I'm going to throw a can of biscuit. I don't eat those. No offense to anybody. I have some Pillsbury brands here in the refrigerator, and I think they're disgusting, but um, I'll probably cook some up for my husband so he's got a little something to eat with it. And I will check back in when we're ready to eat. Here's my final dinner. It was six points for the serving of chili, one point for the half an ounce of 2% reduced fat Colby Jack cheese and then one point for the half cup serving of Mardi Gras slaw the other thing though that you don't see in my dinner is my vodka and soda for three points so nine ten eleven point dinner